So hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Grace from Filipino Lipstick and we're here at Ayala Mall guys for another interview vlog. I'll be the foreigners today for the first time. So what's your name by the way, sir? Lou. Lou. So yeah. uh, how old are you, Lou? 74. 74 young. <laughs> Years young, huh? So where are you from? Uh, California. California. Uh, yeah, in America, right? So um, how long have you been to the Philippines or living here? I've been living here about 11 years. 11 years. I first came here in 91. 91. So that's 30 plus so, years. So, uh, retired in the Philippines so far, right now? I'm retired. I retired 11 years ago and I moved here. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. So, what's your uh, expectation about the Philippines before you came here? My expectation? Yes, your expectation before you came here, before right? Before I first originally came here yes, in the 90s? Yes, yes, yes. Um, well, I had a general idea because I had friends that lived here, and okay. I came here and I stayed with friends here, so uh, I actually came here and did a little work for a friend. And, okay, uh, so you, he gave you a tour, <laughs> the whole Philippines? Yeah, yeah, he kind of knew his way around, so he showed me around. So what places in the Philippines you love the most? Different island in the Philippines that you've been you've Well, been? like I was telling you, I, I, I'm very attached to Sigihor. Uh, because Island. My, my friend okay. has his resort there, so I stayed. I stayed there quite a bit when I was first coming over. Okay. And so, I was helping out with his resort, and then so I got to know Dumaguete, and I got to know Cebu. So uh, and, do you know also you've been to Boracay or Palawan? Yeah, I've been. To you've been, yeah. yeah. That's also the the famous destination for tourists, right? Yeah, Boracay was a little bit busy, but I had a good time. Uh, it's quite it pricey though. It's kind of pricey. <laughs> it and, is. Uh, but it was very international. I was, it was interesting. I liked it. I was only there five or six days, I think. And then Palawan, I really like Palawan. Palawan, yes. That's one of the yeah. best places also. Yeah, I like Puerto Princesa. And then we. El Nido. Yeah, and then we, yeah, we ended up, we, we, we got the ride over to Port Barton, and then we got a boat up to El Nido. This oh, okay. was 20 years ago, so it wasn't that easy to do. And uh, El Nido was great. I loved it. I think it's a lot more crowded now, but El Nido was uh, really nice. We did some snorkeling and just uh, you know, hit a, a few. There are only a few little bars there and restaurants. So yes. It was pretty quiet. Yeah. But, so do you love living in the Philippines compared to your country? <laughs> Yeah, well, that's why I retired here. Well, my money goes a little further. And, yes, uh, I understand that. I like the people. I just got to know a lot of Some foreigners that we, we have, uh, we've asked also, they said they don't like the weather in America because it's too cold, so they want to go to the Philippines for the tropical weather, right? Well, I like the weather. Uh, now, the summer's coming up. I don't like the uh, summer that much because it's, like, too hot. Too hot yeah. for you. <laughs> But I prefer that than in the States. I lived in Lake Tahoe and we had uh, oh. pretty cold winters and uh, a lot of snow. Yeah, but there's some parts of the California that is very snow, so the thick, like five meters thick snow, the right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah also, actually, actually yeah. Tahoe's getting pounded with a lot of snow this year. It's but you have a good lake in Lake Tahoe. I've seen that on you know, some Facebook friends of mine that went there. Oh, I loved it. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was, when I was younger, I was a skier, and in the, in the wintertime, summertime, you could water ski. And Probably Arizona is the hotter one states in America, I think. Where? Arizona. Arizona? Yeah. Yeah, Arizona's hot. It's hot. Well, actually, said. when I go now, when I go back to visit uh, the states now, I go to Southern California because oh. I have family and... Uh, uh, it's down near San Diego, so Southern Cal. So their weather's real pleasant, even in the winter. Yeah, it might get a little bit cold. So what do you like about the Philippines so far? When you stayed here for long, so what, what do you like about it? Uh, the people are super friendly. Are of course, friendly. of course we are. I think everyone knows that the Filipinos are very friendly. Yeah, and yes. uh, it's easy to meet the uh, girls and go out with girls. Yeah, uh, I think not in your country because usually a lot of people told me that the culture is different from your country, right? Yes, it's a yes. different culture. Because they don't know. Because some foreigners ask us, like, mostly they don't know that the, old, the younger girls go out with the older men. Right. In the Philippines, in America, it's not usually you can see, no. unless you're very rich. Re very I, rich. I, I, could, <laughs> I could definitely not go out with a girl like you in America. Yeah, in America, but, in the Philippines. But here, you guys yes. don't seem to care how old I am. I think you can see around the mall, not a lot, because you've been here about longer. 
Yeah. So you can see a lot of older partners like you that go out with the younger ones. Yeah. Right? So are you married or single right now? Uh, I'm single right now. Single, I, yes. I have a couple of casual girlfriends, but I don't have a serious, serious relationship. One? Not, you never find the right one yet? <laughs> uh, I have, but I, I lost them. I lost. And, uh, you know, they, they <laughs> Maybe it's not the time yet, because there's uh, always the right time for a right look for you. Yeah. Because yeah. I've seen a lot of my friends that married no matter foreigners here, so probably the right time will yeah. come. So yeah. you don't know, at the age of 60, probably, how, old, how old are you, by the way? 74. 74, probably yeah, 80. So, <laughs> you so. don't know. At the age of 80, you yeah, have the right girl. Yeah, I'm getting a little old. I better find one pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, pretty quick. Yeah, at your age. He's still young, no one, sir, yeah. of course. Not, maybe probably because you're a healthy diet right now, right? Because at your age, some of the foreigners already have disease, you know, um, they're getting fat and have a big belly. You are probably well built right now, so you probably have a healthy diet <laughs> compared to uh, other foreigners. Yeah, I do have a good diet. Yes. And, uh, I, I stay in shape. I swim every day. Oh, so that's a part of your exercise? Uh, my whole life, my voice. Yeah, so what about yeah. going to gym? Are you also both yeah, going to gym? I'm a gym rat. <laughs> a gym, a yeah. gym guy, right? Yeah. So you probably ha find another uh, a Filipino girl that suits your uh, taste, actually, right? There's a lot in the Philippines, not only one. Yeah. Of course yeah, you are. Actually, I haven't met too many girls in the gym. But everyone's just kind of into working out. And, I guess, and yeah. I'm, I'm kind of just into doing my thing. And, I actually don't do the gym too much anymore. I mostly just swim. What's your preferences for a girl or for a Filipina girl you like? My preference? Yes. They yeah. yeah, a lot of guys that have their own preference, uh, what they well, want for a girl. I like uh, a slim girl that's in good yeah. shape and that <laughs> likes to stay in shape. And, oh, okay. Uh, doesn't let herself go too wow. much. And, uh, what about the personality? Is it important also compared to the physical appearance of the woman? Uh, yeah, I like to laugh. If she has a sense of humor, if yes. she's funny and she likes my jokes, then... That's... Why not? <laughs> that's what you like yeah. about the girls. Yeah, so sense of humor is okay. important. So, um, uh, what, do you, what do you do your, jo your job I mean, in the U.S.? What's your job before, before you retire? Uh, I was in construction. I was oh, in so retired construction. Residential. Oh, okay. Residential construction. Yeah. So but Mostly uh, woodworking, carpentry. Oh, okay. Uh, cabinets, uh, furniture, any, any kind of woodwork. Yeah, but you know, in, in the U.S., they said uh, carpenters are paid more compared to the Philippines. If you know the carpenters here, they only paid like $10 also per day, not per uh, hour. Yeah, but, if they even make that much. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's totally, for a, it's totally probably good. average Filipino, because mostly average Filipino earns only $10 per day for a minimum yeah. wage. Yeah. Even you are a construction site or even you are in, in a office job, unless you are a doctor because they paid well. Yeah. The doctors paid a thousand dollars in the Philippines, even the nurse, if yeah. you are a college graduate. But if not, if you don't have a good um, school background or educational background, they do, they, you don't have a high paying job in the Philippines. Yeah. No. Right? That's the only thing about I mean, Filipinos here. You know, if you're a good carpenter or woodworker, uh, it depends on it, whether you work for a contractor or, you're, or your own clients. You know, like you could. You can make like 50 bucks an hour. So, yeah. you know, four or 500 bucks a day. But what I learned about in the US good. is when I have a client, they buy, we, uh, we are the company that provides the mortgage loan for them, additional loan. They do want to add another loan because they said they're also in a debt they buy in, in the US. They have lots of debt they need to pay, pay they buy. Some of those wants to sell their houses to pay it off everything and wants to move out somewhere else. So, why do you guys have a lot of debt in America compared to the Philippines? I, I lost you there, what? Why is it, why is it you have lots of debts in America, right? A lot of loans, loan mortgage for those uh, oh, people? No, I don't know anything. Uh, yeah. I don't owe anybody anything and I don't own anything. Yeah, so you sold everything in your, in your in the States just to move back here. Yeah, well, I have investments in uh, stocks and, and bonds. And, I think common, uh, common for foreigners have and, stock markets nowadays, yeah, I think. And, yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that, but I don't own any. I had a house, I got rid of a house. So you don't need to pay for the mortgage every every month, a year, right? No, no. I, I don't you get any, tired of it. <laughs> I don't own anything here either. I just rent an apartment. So. Ah, okay, so how much is your rent, by the way, in the Philippines so far? Uh, 12000 Wow, that's yeah. a pretty cheap, actually, because some of the guys, uh, some of the condominiums here would pay you $400 a month, right? Yeah. The highest condominium near the most. Like, I've also known a lot of condominiums here that um paid like what uh 40 40 yeah, a month for yeah rent. 400 yeah you're gonna get a probably a studio yeah a studio i have a two-bedroom apartment 
Uh, it's a small apartment. But, uh, it's got it's not, actually, it's, it's not a small apartment for for average Filipino. We consider that already um, well off Filipino. If uh, you can live a two bedroom apartment, right? Yeah. For twelve thousand well, a month. Yeah. Well, I've had it for like eight years or something like that. And oh, okay. The landlord's very uh, for lease. So you have a uh, eight year lease? No, I just pay. Uh, Yearly, month like month, month a month, and then the contract was will renew it after, like if you if you want to renew it, right? It's just uh, open contract, like everyone. Yeah, it's just open. Yeah, so yeah, you can just pay monthly. Yeah, I just pay monthly. So how was it about the food in the Philippines? Uh, do you love Filipino food or what? Uh, Western food. Not really. Uh, not really. Uh, I, I, there are certain foods that I think are fantastic. I like uh, yeah. chicken adobo, pork adobo. Wow, that's the famous one. <laughs> yeah. I think Filipino loves it. Uh, and pancit. Pancit. And I like pancit. Pancit. Yeah, pancit. But generally, uh, you're, there's too much fried food and I don't eat fried food. So you usually go for a healthy meal, like Western Actually, meal. yeah. The, uh, the restaurant I eat at the most is a Japanese restaurant. Japanese. I do I, love Japanese. I also. like sashimi and sushi. And, yeah. Because uh, I think Japanese also live longer life because they also have a different meal, Liba, yeah. kind of dish compared to the Filipino who has deep fried all the time. <laughs> I, I can't eat fried food. It's yeah. just, uh, I yeah. can't yeah, it. you're right. It's not good uh -uh. for me. So have you tried the lechon or the famous roasted uh, yeah, pig in yeah, the Yeah, yeah, I eat pork as well. Not pork, very much. Not very much, yes. Yeah. I guess you mostly foreigners are eating turkey nowadays before. Like it's your common during Thanksgiving, right? Turkey, but in the Philippines uh, not famous here. Yeah, actually, a friend of mine uh, smokes a turkey on Thanksgiving, oh, so okay. sometimes it's hard to find a turkey. Actually. It, it's actually here. It's hard. Yeah. Yes, because we don't eat turkey. But you can find them once in a while, and he, he, he'll find them and put them in his freezer. And but it's it. expensive to buy those in uh, the market. Probably. I'd never bought them. So yeah. I, so I, I think I the the I only cook. yeah the only store that I know for Western food is Landers Super. Landers supermarket, if you know Landers. Yeah. Yeah, I've that's all there. the foreigners went there most of the time and they bought the turkey there or a different yeah. uh, Western they do, food. They yes. have turkeys there at, at, at the right time. Actually, uh, Metro just downstairs, they had turkeys a couple weeks ago. Yeah, kind of they have. Yeah, but not all the time in Metro. Yeah. This is a Filipino My supermarket. My freezer won't hold a turkey. <laughs> and I don't cook. Yeah. So. Uh, we don't eat turkey in the Philippines. Probably duck, you know, and. Pig and, yeah, it's um, not a real chicken. popular thing. You know? Yeah, it's not. I mean, yes. Um, you know. So, how's your Christmas vacation here in the Philippines so far? My Christmas? Yeah, your Christmas. As usually, a lot of Filipinos have their Christmas together with their families, right? So, how's your Christmas vacation here? Well, I don't do anything that exciting. Actually, my daughter spends her Christmas vacation with her family yeah. up till Christmas Day. And then I'll get her the day after Christmas, so, and okay. then uh, we usually go to Sigur for a vacation. Yeah, so that's your vacation for Christmas. Yeah, Is it in the, in the U.S. also have a vac um, Christmas vacation or celebration in the U.S.? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, when I was living in the U.S., yeah. Uh, usually it's two weeks off. And, so no work, no work on holidays. Well. It depends. It depends. If I was on yeah. a uh, tight budget job, I'd, yeah. I'd work right through the holidays. I'd, but you live I'd, a good life in the Philippines because you said that your money goes far in here compared to the U.S., right? Yeah, because I work. Yeah. I work a lot. How could you pay? As some people ask us, like, how could you pay twelve thousand pesos for the rent like you had? In the, in the U.S., you probably have like more than that, probably sixteen hundred dollars for just a. Yeah. Yeah. Apartment or condominium there, probably a thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so probably a one bedroom depends on where depends you are. Where at, but, but California is probably California, a higher. A one bedroom would be at least one thousand five hundred. Oh, you see, one thousand five hundred. Or see, I'm paying about two hundred and twenty bucks for a two bedroom. Yeah. So, so that's my, the thing. So my money goes a lot further. Plus, I I've been here for so long. This is my home. I, yeah, this I, is your home. When I go back to visit. <laughs> Well, during the pandemic, I hadn't been back for over three years, and yeah. I just went back last October. I, I have nowhere to live there. I could yeah. stay with my sister for a couple of days, and I could stay with my brothers, but that 
you can only stay for so long, you know. So uh, at least you love our country better, Diva. You, you love the Philippines so far. That's why you live here longer. Yeah. I'm is, glad you did also. This is my home. Yes, this is this your is home. You consider it? Yeah, your friends are Filipinos now. <laughs> yeah, I have Filipino friends. And yeah. I have, I have casual girlfriends that are of just course. friends, you know, and I, we might just have lunch and yeah. that's it, you know. But, don't worry, you're still young at your age, you no problem about that. Filipinos yeah. are don't judge by their looks or age, for them age doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. So, so don't worry about it, well, <laughs> so far. Like like the uh, ad goes, it's more fun in the Philippines. So oh yeah, I do agree right. with you. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get going. Yes, of course, it, and thank you so much for accepting Luke. you want to continue, yeah, right? yeah. I'll meet you later. And my name is Grace, by the way. Grace, so, right, Yeah, Grace. thank you so much Ray, for accepting my invitation, of course. And okay. hopefully, guys, you love this video for today's vlog. So see you next time in my next video. Bye. Goodbye.